We can't decide which family to be born into. Neither can we choose our parents. Generally, we have certain stereotypical ideas regarding parents and parenting. Parents are expected to wrap their children in cocoons of care and love, but things are different with narcissistic parents. From a distance, it seems, they are very protective of their children and mindful of their every need. But in reality, it is not so. Sometimes, parent-children relationships might appear ideal, but the reality is something else. They have so many failures, unfulfillments, and near misses in their lives, which they want to fulfill through their children, and they often think they are getting it right. Whatever they think, and whatever they do, is perfect. They often force their decisions on their children. Such parents want to mold their children as mirror images of themselves and control them accordingly. They try to determine and monitor every little thing that the child does, what he wears, eats, how he talks, stands, walks, which career choice he pursues, who he keeps in touch with, who he forms relationships with. The list is endless. The children of such parents find it difficult to figure out what sort of life they should lead because they have faced repression at every turn. They do not develop the ability to make decisions. They become hopelessly dependent on others for every little thing. They try very hard not to displease anyone and would often resort to flattery to be in someone's good books. Later in their life, such kids always remain skeptical about their abilities within every space they inhabit family, workplace, relationships. This happens because the child has always been told that he is a good-for-nothing fellow, a blundering idiot, and only survives thanks to his parents. And he has to face such humiliations even in front of outsiders. Such parents love flattery. They expect instant acknowledgement of gratitude for the help they extend to someone, however insignificant the help might be. They want their benefactors to drumbeat the help they have received over and over again. And of course, they have the same expectations from their children. To avoid unpleasant situations in the family sphere, the children of narcissistic parents become conditioned to act out of the role of obedient children. They try to show the world that things are absolutely fine with them. Such children can never stay alone. They never grow adequate self-confidence and suffer from deep depression. They become suspicious of everyone and do not find anyone trustworthy. Often, such children inflict physical harm on themselves and fall prey to addiction. How could victims of such faulty parenting become good parents themselves later in life? They have to exert extra effort to ensure a few things. First, it's important to identify the problems that they have developed as children of narcissistic parents. If they can figure out the nature of their problems, they will find ways to solve them. Our lives are ridden with crisis. Sometimes we are compelled to grapple with mental illnesses. Despite that, we try our best to cling to life in this beautiful world so that we may protect our progeny. This struggle becomes easier to handle if someone shows us the right way to deal with our issues. We are always there to make life better for you, to help you get over your problems and embark on a good life. No matter how many complications we face, we still want to stand serene and majestic like snow-capped mountain peaks, flow gleefully like fast-moving rivers, and provide shade and shelter like broad-topped trees. So please contact us if you need our assistance. We can help you get over these problems. Stay hopeful, stay joyous.